Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Numamo here, back with another vid. Today I want to talk to you guys about how I use Splice and Ableton to make one of the best beats I ever made. This, this joint is fire. Alright, real talk. This beat that I'm about to walk you guys through is a beat that I'm about to use for a little EP that I'm about to drop soon. Um, I'm really excited to share it with you guys and I hope you guys like this beat. Um, uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys some of the tricks that I actually learned from one of my producer friends out in LA um, about how he's using Splice in a way that's much more creative than I have ever used it. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to share it with you guys. What I just played for you guys is the main melody of the track. Um, if you see like these Omnisphere instruments that I have up here, it's that the chords that I just played pretty much are layered with a couple different uh, Omnisphere instruments. Um, I'll play it for you guys now so you can hear what I have. So it's just those same chords um, being played in a couple different instruments. You guys see here that I have some different levels assigned to each instrument to kind of balance it out the way that makes most sense to me. Um, but what the real focus of this video is, um, is less about um, the stuff that I play with MIDI and more um, about my use of samples. And I don't, if you guys watch my channel, you guys probably know that I don't use samples too much. and. Um, one of the things that I've been learning is how I can use samples more creatively in my tracks by using Splice, um, which I have right over here. Uh, when I was out in LA, I met up with one of my producer friends and he was kind of showing me all the different creative ways that he's using Splice. And since I got back, I started, you know, messing around with some of the ideas that he showed me. And it's really taken my beats I think to a new level so I want to show you guys some of the things that I did with this beat to kind of um, make it feel more full and more complete one of the coolest things about splice I, that I think is really worth mentioning for for people who are using Ableton and splice is that splice a lot of their samples have their BPM and their key listed in the title um, so for example, if you're looking for like a drum loop and you're searching here, you see that these are like Chuck English loops and this is, the tempo here is 130 for this one. And Ableton is really, really smart at realizing the tempo of a sample that you drop into it and adjusting it to the tempo of your actual project. So if you can tell uh, this project that I have open, the tempo is 120. I want to show you guys exactly what Ableton does as soon as I decide to drop in one of these um, Chuck English loops. So. Sure, let's just try this. Well, actually, let's try one that's crazy. So, sure, this one that's 140. So, like I said, this sample, the BPM is 140. I'm gonna drag and drop it onto my Ableton session. And look, Ableton automatically uses its warp settings to realize what's like the original BPM of the sample, and then it adjusts it to the project BPM. So here you go, here you go. I'm gonna play you guys the sample I just dragged in here with the chords that I was just playing. So it's super, super dope. It's super, uh, Ableton is really smart about using uh, splice samples. And because of that, I've been using Splice a lot to kind of help me get ideas for, for drums or for textures that I want to add to tracks. And overall, just like I love using the samples that they have. A lot of like top-notch producers have created sample packs in Splice that are really fun and, and have a lot of sounds that maybe I wouldn't regularly use. So it's really fun to kind of go through their kits and maybe drag and drop uh, any cool sounds that I think might work with, with whatever uh, beat that I might be working on. Um, one of the ones that I really like is that I dropped this uh, vocal sample. Um, this is from uh, the producer Cashmere. I dropped this vocal sample into these chords. So. Mm -hmm. 
So it's just like a girl making like a like a nice cool mm sound. And I happened to find it perfectly on key. I didn't have to transpose anything. Obviously, if you find a sound that you really like, but it's not in the same key, you know you can always transpose here. And pretty much you can make it so whatever sample, you can adjust it to a note that works with the beat that you're working on. By the way, this is not sponsored by Splice. It's just whenever I find uh, producer tricks and producer products that I'm really excited about, I love to share them with you guys because maybe you guys can use them to make awesome beats too. So, like I said, I have no affiliation with, with Splice. I'm just happy to share some dope producer tricks with you guys. So one of the one of my favorite sample packs that I actually found on Splice was by Wonder Girl. Um, she has super clean samples and she does a lot of cool uh, things in terms of percussion that I feel like I would never do. Um, and so it's really cool to be able to kind of drag and drop uh, some of the loops that she made onto the tracks that I'm making. So I'm playing chords and you know layering different instruments that I like but then I can use uh, maybe her drum samples to kind of give my beat uh, maybe a little bit of a different taste than it normally would. Um, so I'm going to show you guys this drum loop that I got from her. I'm also going to include this, this, these 808s which I got from the Sunny Digital Pack in Splice. Um, so if you see here, uh, yeah, Sunny Digital has a bunch of awesome samples. A lot of cool kicks, claps, a lot of really clean 808 sounds. Um, here you go. And you see that whenever he, he lists an 808 sound, he puts the key that the 808 sound is in. So when, when you drop it onto the sampler, um, when you drop it onto the sampler, and I'll show you guys what the sampler looks like. Um, this is a sampler in, in, in Ableton. You just have to adjust the root key here to whatever the actual key of the sample is. And then it'll automatically get spread out through your keyboard to, um, so you can play so you can play all the different sounds that you want. It's, it's really, really awesome, really, really useful. Um, so that's what I did with this 808, and now I wanna, someone's like banging stuff. Now I wanna play you guys the chords together with the 808, the Sunny Digital 808 that I grabbed, and the Wonder Girl drum loop. saying um, I'll play you guys that drum loop by itself so you hear like all the stuff that's in there and I wonder what temple this was originally let's see if I can find out um, so the original the original temple for for this drum loop was 115 and it got adjusted to 120 which is uh, where I have to be um, this is the there's the drum loop here Um, let's see what other sounds, I got a bunch of other Wonder Girl samples that I dropped into here. Um, that's just like a little, little transition effect, kind of helps with the drum, you know? Um, what is this? Oh, it's just like a little extra clap that I wanted to add. I don't know, I just heard it. It kind of makes that, makes that snare a little snappier. Um, adding those drums there, I mean adding that clap there. Uh, one other thing that I did in terms of splice effects is that I, I searched for kind of like these uh, random like crackly, I think it's like some crack, like a crackle sound. Um, let's see what it, let's see what this sounds like. A random texture random like little effect but it really makes it so that the intro feels uh, feels much more special um, here's what it all sounds like together So I added another uh, Omnisphere synth here. Yeah, 
Yeah, so as you can tell, using Splice really can help you kind of take your beat to the next level when it comes to texture, uh, drum loops, um, high any high quality sounds, um, transition sounds. I love I love the, these little things, little little effects that you can add um, and. Honestly, there's just so many of them. You just type in, for example, you type in effects over here, and you know, it's like a little anime effect. Um, a bunch of, you know, it just, it's just a lot of sounds. Okay. Um, yeah, so you have a lot of sounds um, at your disposal here. And, and I think another thing that is like, a lot of people will say like, you know, there's a million other ways for me to get free samples but I think what makes Splice really special for me in terms of workflow is being able to find sounds that are properly labeled so I know I can type in whatever I want into this search bar um, so I know I can type in like drum loop and I know I'm gonna get drum loops um, I, I know that I can type in like riser effect and I'm gonna get riser effects and you know long sweeps or whatever um, so I'm getting, it, it's really easy to find and to, it's, it's really easy to find what you're looking for and to like sift through different sounds and different samples in an organized way. Um, obviously having the key on, on to, to have samples labeled with the key and the BPM is like priceless in terms of like saving you time. So honestly, um, yeah, those are some of the, just, so those are some of the cool ways that I've been using Splice. I, I have so many other beat examples that I could show you, but this is one of my favorites, honestly, um, especially because of this little, I love this little thing right here. It's, you know, <laughs> I couldn't resist. Um, and yeah, this is this here is gonna be like one of the tracks on my upcoming uh, little EP that I'm working on. I'm really excited to share it with you guys. Um, this track actually has my boy Buddha Flip, which was in the last video that I posted. He does the hook on this, and then I'm doing the verses. So I'll give you guys like a little snippet with the vocals. Get what I want, I pick out a flow like I pick out a font. I make them go, I don't even flaunt. I put into practice the things I was taught. Taught uptown boy, got downtown money. Uh, um, yeah, man, it's a song that I'm really excited about. Vocals aren't mixed, by the way. Don't judge the mix yet. This is all just like a creative session so far. As you can see, it's super messy and just all over the place. Um, usually when I start mixing, I bounce all of these down. So as you can see, the session is called I Dig It Pre-Stems because um, now I have a version where I have everything nicely stemmed out. I don't have any MIDI information on the, on the session and where I'm actually mixing the track. But I wanted to show you guys this version um, to show you guys kind of like what it looks like when I start making a beat with all the MIDI and everything, dragging and dropping samples. Um, and usually I record vocals right under here. Um, where is it? Yeah, here are some vocals. I done seen lots of places. You ain't been far. You ain't been far. You busy contemplating. I done seen lots of places. You ain't been far. What you want? You busy contemplating. Nigga, I'm gone. So it's funny whenever I make videos like this where I'm kind of just walking through sessions of tracks that I'm working on. Um, it's really fun for me because honestly, I'm always really excited to show people cool stuff that I learned, cool stuff that I figured out, uh, and you know, kind of going track by track through these sessions. I could probably do this for another hour with you guys, kind of showing you guys every different, uh, every little effect that I added here, every instrument, um, but. Ain't nobody got time for that, so um, I'm gonna let it go right there, man. Like I said, I, I really enjoy Splice. If you guys want me to show you guys more beat examples, more more examples of stuff that I've done with Splice, let me know in the comments. I will be more than happy to show you guys uh, some other beats where I've used Splice samples. I, I've done a bunch of different stuff with it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this track. Like I said, this one is gonna be in my upcoming project that's coming real soon, uh, definitely before the end of the year. Um, 
And yeah, man, uh, give the video a thumbs up if you learned something new, if you enjoyed uh, this track. Uh, comment, subscribe to the channel if this is your first time here. Uh, my name is New Memo. Always remember, create with what you have. You don't need much. And um, yeah, peace out, guys. Much love.